Welcome back to the Sooner Surge. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Drop your questions and comments in the chat. Follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our Spotify as well. Uh, so you never miss the latest from the Sooner Surge. Today, another commitment video. It's been a bit. It's been a while since the uh, last commitment for the Sooners. This time, it's three-star offensive tackle Daniel Akinkunmi from NFL Academy in London. Uh, 6'5", about 300, 320 pounds. Uh, really new to the game of football. I know uh, a while back we had him on the podcast, uh, talked to him. Very well-spoken uh, kid. Uh, very uh, football, very new to him. I think he said handful of games he's played in. It's it's not much over there at the NFL Academy. As That's still something that the NFL is trying to expand, trying to get kids in the U.K., uh, more opportunities to play football. So, yeah, he's uh, very new to the game, but he's very good at uh, a fast uh, start. Yeah, this guy, Daniel Akinkumi, guys, he is a – he's exactly the definition of raw talent, okay? Like Hunter, you said, he's he's fresh, he's raw, he he's new to the game, but my goodness does he have everything you want in an offensive lineman. At 6'5", 300 pounds or more, as he even came on the pod, we asked him about the splits. Yes, he can do the splits. This guy, we're going to look at his huddle film hill here, and uh, you can see that uh, what he's all about. I mean, goodness, look at the size on this guy. Uh, he's, you know, Bill Beatenbow's licking his chops getting this guy. Here he is, 75, just uh, standing up a guy on pass pro and then pancaking him down on the follow through. Here he is on the right side. If you notice, he's moving sides on the line. Again, standing up and then putting him down. That kind of seems to be what he does here, Hunter. Yeah, uh, we talk about Bill Biedenboe offensive line all the time. Uh, you're not expected to play early on. Uh, it's very rare that a freshman starts for Bill Biedenboe. Uh, Daniel Akinkunmi, that's one that that's fine. Uh, he's going to need the time to develop under Coach Biedenboe, but everything is there. It's just a matter of putting it all together. Uh, I'm a firm believer that if he played uh, high school football in America, he would probably be a four-star recruit. Uh, he has all the physical, uh, just talent, uh, just everything you need in an elite offensive lineman. It's just he's barely ever played football. I think he said it was somewhere in like 15 real games he has played. He's done a lot of combine stuff. It's put up really good numbers uh, there and like the 40 and all sorts of stuff like that for his size. Uh, right now he's at 23% body fat. Uh, by the time he gets to America, uh, gets to Norman, Oklahoma, he's uh, expecting to be at 20% or less. So uh, for a guy his size, that's very impressive. Uh, yeah, uh, not going to play early on for Biedenboe, but come year two, come year three, uh, for sure come year four, he's going to be a star for the Sooners on the offensive line. Yeah, and I mean, like you said, th this is someone that doesn't have to uh, gain any weight, uh, put on any, uh, any size. He does have that already. And as we talk to him, you can get a sense – uh, he's going to eat everything up as far as the knowledge from Coach Beatenbo. So the coachable aspect of it, I mean, he's wanting more and more of it. Uh, so I think that only bodes well for someone who's, one, new to the game, and two, is very coachable. That, in my opinion, is a recipe for success, and Bill Beatenbo cannot wait to get him on campus. And, and the other thing is, you talk about, uh, moving on both sides, the guy has played multiple sides. It's not like he's, since he's new to the game, he's not ingrained to one position. So, therefore, he's kind of fair game across the board on the offensive line. I think that's also important to kind of make a note of. Yeah, that's really impressive. Someone that has barely played football, uh, again, less than 20 games, if I'm not mistaken, and he's able to move all across the offensive line. We've seen him here some at left guard, 
Uh, I think a few plays at left tackle, right guard, right tackle. I uh, haven't seen him yet at center, but he's moving all over the place. Uh, that's not uh, a common thing, especially when you're getting to upper levels of football. Right now he's playing high school football in London at the NFL Academy uh, through that program that the NFL runs over there. Uh, then coming to America to play college football, you don't see that that often. A lot of times you're stuck to one position. Um, maybe you switch to the other side, and that's a big move a lot of times. Uh, I know Orlando Brown did it. That was a big deal uh, at times for him to go to right tackle, left tackle. Uh, so to be able to do that while being so new to the game, that's just impressive. Yeah, it's so cool. Also, you see the soccer field. They're playing on the soccer field in a couple of those. That's kind of interesting. But pretty good huddle tape there, guys, for uh, the limited amount of action he has. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a a diamond in the rough, or I guess you could say a diamond from down under, or maybe I guess it would be a diamond from afar. Whatever you want to say, uh, he's going to be a special player. And the Sooners are, I'm sure, stoked, excited about getting this commitment. Bill Beatembo. Lands another one here, uh, so this line continues to grow. This is not the power line on defense, but my goodness, is this a power line guy that you can have on the offensive side of the ball. Great get for Beaton Bow, and I'm just excited for him to be on campus and start experiencing uh, life in Norman, Oklahoma, and, and being part of this culture here. We had him on. He He's going to be a perfect fit uh, for BV and staff, just listening to him how he carries himself, what he talked about, uh, his idea of culture and family and what it was at Norman, Oklahoma. Just going to be a great addition to this unit. Yeah, I, I know he's very excited to get over here. I'm interested to see if he's able to be an early enrollee. He's only been to Norman once. Uh, it was a two-day visit, but he was go, go, go the entire time. Uh, he vlogged it all on his YouTube channel. He has a really uh, big-time YouTube channel. So that's cool to see recruit, especially one like him that's in a completely different continent uh, playing football, very new to the game at the NFL Academy, uh, to be able to show his experiences. I think it was the first time he's had a, a stake was on that visit. So uh, uh, a lot of new things for him when he came to Norman. I believe that was also his first college football game. Uh seeing the Sooners take down Arkansas State 73 to nothing. So it will be interesting to see if he's able. Uh, I don't know how high school works in uh, London on if you're able to graduate early to allow you to enroll early uh, like a lot of kids are doing uh, now with the early signing day. Yeah, maybe it's something we can get him uh, on the Sooner Surge podcast again and talk about his his future plans and when that can happen. Cause that would be massive if he could come in early and already start getting with Schmitty and uh, just being part of the unit again. But yeah, kudos to BV, Bill Beatembo, all of them and staff, because like you said, one visit, they land this guy uh, from afar. Uh, super excited. Great get happy for Daniel. Akinkumi being part of sooner nation and yeah, ready to see his future uh, be successful. Uh, there in a Sooner in the Crimson and Cream. So can't wait for Daniel to be on campus. And till next time, guys, Boomer.